To other news now. A Fort Langley family is praising the search and rescue team who they say saved two of their loved ones this weekend. They were out for a hike when they were attacked by hornets and found themselves dealing with an unexpected and potentially life-threatening allergic reaction. Today, they're sharing their side of that dramatic rescue. The CBC's Tina Lovegreen has the story. What started off as a beautiful family hike suddenly took an unexpected turn. Started getting a little dizzy and blur blurred vision and, uh, and wobbly on her feet. The family recalls the moment they were all attacked by hornets. 22-year-old Sabrina, whose special needs, was the first to get stung. She started having a strong allergic reaction. Despite taking Benadryl, hives and spots appeared all over her body. After struggling to get a cell signal, the family finally reached 911 and began walking towards where rescuers could pick them up. And that's when she pretty well passed out and uh, she went blank. Had to, to look in her eyes and, and there was nothing there. It was almost like she was gone. After they laid her down, her condition improved and help arrived. Coquitlam Search and Rescue used a long line to reach the family. Sabrina was given an EpiPen injection and strapped into a bed harness. Her mother went along with her to keep her calm. When the help finally came, it was, uh, it was a big, big, huge relief. <laughs> but the ordeal wasn't over just yet. While Sabrina was being airlifted, her sister's husband was stung and he began having a reaction. He ended up having to get airlifted out as well. Now the family is thanking the search and rescue crews for their work. I'm convinced that if it wasn't for them, she wouldn't be here today. So. The family had no idea Sabrina was allergic to stings, and allergists say that there is no way of knowing unless you are stung. But there are things you can do to minimize the reaction. So not to panic and not to you know, try and run away because that increased uh, exercise will likely cause the venom to be absorbed into your system more quickly. And always have an antihistamine or an EpiPen if you're allergic when heading out into the woods. Tina Lovegreen, CBC News, Langley.